stop questioning your faith. I have a voice. What is up guys and I'm back with another WWE 2K17 how to create this video and today we're going to be looking at how to create the WWF Raw's War Arena from December of late 1999 to early February 2002 before they changed the name to WWE. Now I know this is like a high demand arena that you guys want to create and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create it with this formula that I got from the community creations like I download probably several different kinds of arenas and I use their textures and logos to create the official one and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create it in this video be sure to comment like and subscribe to my video and I give you guys more content on GTA WWE NBA Call of Duty you name it and make sure to put in the comment section down below what arena you want me to make next and I might even do a PS4 giveaway this is all PS4 video all PS4 games here guys no Xbox no Nintendo's no no Nintendo 64 no game cubes no Atari's none of that just good old PS4's I might do a PlayStation giveaway PlayStation 2 giveaway PlayStation 3 you never know so no, I was just playing about them, but I will probably do like a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 giveaway. I got some laying around here, if you guys know what I mean. But let's go ahead and get into this. First, what you want to do is you want to delete all of the normal things that you have for the Raw 2014 arena. You want to change this to probably either that one or this one is how to either how you decide by like this one because of the light so what you want to do first is see this is where everybody messes up they go for this one since it got like the original like look for it for the titantron no because it doesn't fit the titantron correctly what you want to do is you're going to go to header and you're going to go to this one You bring it all the way as low as you can. First, it's gonna say, can I place object in this location? You move it back some until you see it light up blue. Push it back some more, and there you guys go. Then you take your Titantron. You go for either this one, this one, or this one. I go with either this one because of the logo on top, or this one because of the lights on the side. But you would mainly use this one for like if you was to create Raw's War 1997 because it had like the red lights dangling down for onto the curtains. What you want to do is you want to push it up against it, against the steel frame. You can either have the light showing or you can like have them turned off either way you decide. Uh, there we go. Next one you want to do is you want to get go to the walls, go to this right here, and make sure you get it lined up with the Titantron steel frame as much as you can. But you want to like pull it out a little bit so you won't be able to see the steel frame object. So what I'm saying is the steel frame I'm gonna have for like the Minitron, I'll have to wait for the walls. And we'll have to go ahead and get it to how to do the mini trial first so go to header logos and I'm gonna put the logos down in the description on PS on PSN on the community creations where to get it from first what you want to do is you want to get this like the original steel frame object push it back as far as you can just about right here would be perfect and see what you want to do is you're going to go to designs take this and then you're going to take that and cover it up with 
any kind of shape it really doesn't matter I know that it's going to be painted black let me see is that a little bit too close yep change it all the way to black because once everything is put on here the whole color of it is going to be put to black now what you want to do is you want to go to the ones that's going to be put on the left side of it repeat the same step that I did for the first one now I can now I can probably just by guarantee you that it might be that the left side might be bigger than the right just because I might get get the size of it a little bit fucked up but right about there do the same step again but this time I'm going to measure it up with the it's right about there so mm -hmm. and then go back to designs and you're going to repeat the same step that you did for the left one Now what you want to do is you want to set it to black and there you go. Now see what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably like bringing the Titantron down so. Because obviously it doesn't like really look kind of right yet but I mean. And what you want to do now is. Take the little mini try because I know from December 1999 they had updated it with a add lights going from the back of it. Then, what you want to do is you can add the WWF logo to it to like give it that poke out look like it stands out, like it doesn't look like it doesn't look as old looking or dried up or anything. You do that. And then there you go with that. Now you go back to stage construction. And now you can add in your. Get it just about as close as it can be. Or you could have it like this but I prefer that you move in like a little bit closer okay so next what you want to do is you want to set the time try no, go to movie display, set it to on pattern A, pattern A, pattern A, and then for the movie, you can either put it as W2K17 or just as raw, just to give it like that light up look, or battleground, not payback, not summer slam. WrestleMania or Extreme, Extreme Rules or Extreme Rules again. Or WWE 2K17, but I'll go with the Raw. Now for the wall, what you wanna do is go to Custom Logos. And you'll use this for it. I know in the other arenas they'll just simply like set it to black and then they'll just type in raw on there. No. That is raw. If you was like 
if you want your arena to be legit be a legit look-alike you got to do exactly what it takes now for the apron I think this is just gonna be simply titled Raw, so this could either be the 2000 version or the 2001 or the 2002. 2002, they had the check, they had the name change to just simply Raw on the apron side, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go with the early 2000 apron look. You get to put WWF.com, download this for the size of it, but I'm just going to simply go ahead and go with the Seth and Rollins War on the side of it. No LED dish display whatsoever unless you want to do that your own turnbuckle pad Now next, this is where like everybody like really fucks up to my opinion when it comes to getting it that steel look and turn it black. See, most people just turn it black or whatever and think it'll turn black. No, that's not the case. What you want to do is, yes, you can set it to black, but then you go to material. And see, they'll probably go for like leather, metal damage, vinyl, steel bumps, concrete, plastic, rust wood denim crocodile scales fabric what you do is you need to go to steel or vinyl or steel bump whatever one you choose i say steel because it give you like that darker look for it and for the floor mat you go straight up to classic get it down a little bit you leave you can leave it you can leave the barricade exactly how you want it to be. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be the same. Or you can get like the steel frame or the steel barricade. It really doesn't matter about that. You could have Raw's War as a band up there, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I will, but then again, I'm not. And for the arena name, what you want to put is WWF for Raw is War. Nine nine through oh two, and see, I almost forgot about the whole light situation. Which one do is for the lights? You need to choose to have them turned off so it won't be shining through the titron or anything. That's is that's what I'm going to go with. No.
because the tiny tron itself was like a it had like a pinkish reddish like effect to it no nah, that's for like divas type that's a little bit too feminine go over a little bit more This should be right about No, that's like the Hardy Boys type look. It should be like a good a good red. There we go. For the fifth color, you can go ahead and just keep it with the blue or you can like make it a little bit lighter. Now you guys want to go to the custom show, and now I'm gonna show you guys. How, and I'm gonna show you guys how to put the entire show together, the authentic one. And then after that, it'll be all over. What you want to do is you want to go to simply Raw's War, commentary Raw. But for the show day, just want to have have simply. WWF Raw is War or WWF Raw, it really doesn't matter. Old school referee three, make it look like Earl Hefner. Um, you can simply use the Raw is War 98 logo. Let's see, I have my own custom logos, so I'm going to go with my Raw World logo. Either late 90s filter or 1990s filters really doesn't matter or you just have it off really I'm gonna have late 90s because in 2000s it wasn't really HD yet and there you guys go I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment like and subscribe to my videos and make sure to comment what type of rain you want me to create for you guys next what matches or whatever you guys want to do anything in the GTA 5 kind of car mods you want and be sure to look out for the my PS4 giveaways I'm not fucking with you guys I literally have a PS4 right here in my hand that I'm going to guarantee I'm going to give away and if I reach like a certain amount of subscribers of subscribers I'll probably do a face reveal only if I get a certain amount of subscribers I'm not gonna say the number yet cuz I'll be asking too much but when I reach a certain number of subscribers I will do a face reveal video I'll be up there in the world like Fernando, Lispy Jimmy typical gamer <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to catch my other videos be safe and I'm out you guys